Hey guys, welcome back. It is the second video of our boot camp, Ruby on Rails boot camp series, and in this video, we are going to discuss about variables in Ruby. So, before knowing variables in Ruby, we first need to know that what are variables in general. Mathematically, you can say that variable can have a value and that value can be changed over the time. But programmatically, we need to define it a bit different that uh, a variable is a location in memory where you can store some values and that value can be changed over the time. Okay, so what does it mean by memory location is that when you declare a equal to 10 and b equal to 20 then a and b are not just the variables in fact these a both a and b are the memory locations where you can store 10 and 20 respectively so let's try to understand this by an example for example i have declared a equal to 10 and b equal to 20. So now how we can get uh, the memory location of these a and b that by invoking a method that is object id that a dot object id now it's 21 and b dot object id okay so a is placed uh, stored at the memory location 21 or you can say that uh, the lock address memory address of variable a is 21 and memory address of variable b is 41 Similarly, you can say uh, create a string like uh, hello world, and you can get the memory object. Uh, you can get the memory location of this string element as well. str dot object id. So it is stored at the memory address one eighty. Now. Uh, variable can be anything okay like uh, variable can be an array variable as integer variable or a float variable or a string variable or a decimal variable or a boolean variable like true or false so ultimately variables are also object in ruby that we discussed in our last video that everything in object is a ruby so now uh, if you want to check that uh, from which class a variable belongs to then you can try it like uh, a dot class you can see that it is an integer str dot class you can see that this is a string okay so a variable in ruby can be defined by just providing a name to it it does not require any type for declaration okay for example if you can see that i have declared a equal to 10 here but I don't have to mention the type of this variable. I can simply define a equal to 10 and it uh, on runtime it belongs to or it get assigned to an integer class object. Okay. So and you can also change the value of an object as well. Like for example, uh, I can change the value of a now like uh, some string. And now a becomes the object of a string class. Okay so similarly you can define other types of variables as well like uh, integer array hash boolean classes and whatever you want or you can define variable for your custom classes and for their objects as well now this is the variable okay and we have also seen that where we can store May, uh, objects our variables in memory and how to get address of those memory locations for uh, where our variables are stored now so this is for this lecture this is a, i know this is a very brief intro about the variables but uh, in the next lecture that is very important about the lecture uh, very important about the variables that is types of variable where we will see types of variable so in ruby there are four types of variable that we're going to discuss that first one is global variables local variables instance variable and class variable so the next uh, or upcoming lecture is very important why because we have to deal with these types of variables throughout the ruby development and throughout the rails development because whenever you make our controller model classes then we have to deal with instance variables or class variables and uh, uh, attributes 
okay and in ruby classes and ruby methods we also have to deal with the local variables and all that so that's for this video okay now it's the question time okay so let's come to the question slide whatever we discuss in this video so far these questions are based upon that so what do you mean by variables what are variables in ruby what are constants in ruby how to define variables in ruby and how to get memory address of a variable in ruby so we all discuss that what do you mean by variables variables are nothing but the memory location where we can store some values what are variables in ruby that variables are object of some classes okay what are constants in ruby so we haven't discussed the constant so far so constant in something so is something that's value cannot be changed once declared okay and constant must be start with capital letter in ruby let's see this if we make it like a equal to 10 now a becomes the uh, object of an integer class but if we need to make it constant then we need to define it like a equal to 10 still a is the object of integer class but a is an ob constant now now if you try to change the value of this a object you will get a warning like let's say a equal to 20 you will see that warning already initialized constant a and previous definition of a was here now a becomes 20 but again if you want to change the value of it you will get this warning so whenever you try to update the value of a constant you will get a warning however in the latest version of the ruby it will change the value of that but variable with when you try to update the value of a variable you will never get any warning and you can do that okay so this is the difference between constants and variables so now you can also prepare what are constants in ruby at your own end and uh, we have already seen that how to define variables in ruby and we have also seen that uh, how to get memory address of variable in ruby so we just need to invoke object id method object underscore id method on object or on a variable and it will return the memory location for that variable so i hope you like that video and so in this video we have only seen the definition of variable but in the next lecture which is very important why because we have to we need to uh, we will going to discuss types of variables in that video that is local variable instance variable class variables and global variable so thanks for watching this video but remember to see the next lecture as well thank you tata have a great day